So we want to simplify this as much as possible. First off, we can reduce this down to secant raised to the second x minus tangent second of x, and then secant squared x plus tangent squared x. So we can convert tangent, so depending on what we want to do, so secant x, and then we can convert tangent to quantity secant squared minus 1. All right, so i got to still wrap these up. And then secant squared x plus secant squared minus 1. So on the left side, the secants cancel out. And we're simply left with a minus negative 1, so it becomes positive 1. So it just cancels itself out. And over here we get secant squared x plus secant squared x minus 1. And we're simply left with 2 secant squared x minus 1. This is correct. You could also put this in terms of tangent. It's really up to you. You'll have to figure that out yourself. So anyway, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching. You have a